Hi, this is Bobby from Horse Tender Studio. On my last vlog, uh, and also my blog and other places, I may have mentioned our laser business. Uh, YouTube user Nibblenix had asked in the comments, or had said, that a video about the laser business would be interesting. So, I'm gonna make one. <laughs> this is just for you. Uh, this is our laser. Uh, as you can see on the front, it is an uh, epilogue mini. Uh, epilogue is a company based out of Golden, Colorado, just outside of Denver. Um, our table size is 12 inches by 24 inches, and we've got a 60 watt machine, which uh, I don't, I'm thinking it's the most powerful one in this size. We wanted to get one with uh, higher power and then the largest table size that we could afford. Um, they get a lot bigger than this. Um, and there are also some smaller machines. But Epilogue is a, a great company to work for. They put on a lot of, um, they have a lot of educational stuff. We've been to an open house that they had at their factory got to see how they make the machines. Um, they ship these out all over the world. We got this one when we were still living in South Dakota and we brought it with us over here to Japan. And we've been um, running the laser business. This is kind of what I refer to as my day job, um, <laughs> is making things for people with the laser. Um, we've built up a pretty good business over here on the, the base that we're at. Uh, the military base, and then when we move back stateside this coming summer, uh, we'll be starting up our Etsy store again and, and doing a lot more online orders, so that's exciting. Um, I'll go ahead and open it up for you here. It opens up on top, and I've already got a board in here. I was cutting out some pieces. Um, there's a honeycomb surface, cutting surface, and then underneath that is a solid metal surface. The table drops down um, 8 or 10 inches, I think, so we can put some fairly deep things in there. And then you can remove all of the layers and put in uh, what's called a rotary attachment, which allows you to do round items, uh, like rolling pins are a popular thing uh, a lot of people have probably seen. Also glasses and bottles, things like that. And then, as an example of some of the items that we make with it, let me just grab some stuff here. It can work in all different types of materials. Um, the most common material that we work with is wood. We also work with MDF. Um, but it can cut and engrave uh, felt, uh, felt, paper, leather, cloth. We can engrave on metal, we can engrave um, on glass, it just, we, we say that sometimes the ideas are paralyzing because it can just do so many things. Um, and both Jeff, my husband, and I have, you know, albums and pages and pages of notes and ideas and things we want to make and sometimes it's just like, oh, let's just take a nap. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is one of the product lines that we have. We actually bought these design files when we were first getting started with how to use the machine uh, we found a company that sold these design files um, they have a, an entire package of design files for horses and so there's different sizes here this is like a Christmas ornament size um, focus on that a little better but they had this whole series of, of products ornaments picture frame. You cut out a picture and set it in here. It's like a 3 by 5 picture size. This is what they call a wall tribute. It's about um, almost 12 inches across. And then these are the desktop size. They're about uh, just under 6 inches across. About 5, 5 and 3 quarter inches. And then as you can see I've been having color or I've been having fun with the color and staining doing some detail staining, doing some color pop on the backgrounds. This one has a, a lot of contrast, so it's kind of a neat neat color. So that's one of the ways that I have a lot of fun 
with the, the laser business is actually just in designing, um, prepping the materials. Because we start with raw wood. Uh, a lot of people that do this kind of business, um, you can get wood that's already finished, stained, sanded, clear coated. But we so far have just been starting with the plain wood. And it's a little more work, but it allows for more customization. And of course, after we got the horse files, I had to modify some of them and do some model horse themed ones. So the model horse performance junkie, those have been popular. These I had actually made a bunch of for Enamel Pimo, I believe the first year of Enamel Pimo. I sent out uh, about 10 or 12 of these to people, and these are just complete plain wood. So um, someone could stain or paint them. Uh, and I thought that kind of was nice to fit the Namo Pimo and the customizing theme. Picture frame, I'd rather be live showing. I think that's a lot of us. Um, <laughs> this company that we got these designs from also does uh, dog and cat designs. And so we'd gotten all those too. So we have all the different breeds of dogs. So that's just one product line that we've done. Um, as far as the model horse applications, you might have seen my saddle stands, heard me talk about my saddle stands or seen them on Etsy, seen them in my blog. This is a saddle stand and this is actually an example of one that I made for a live show award. I've made a few of those. This was a Palmetto State and uh, the show holder had contacted us for all of her awards. We made um, ornaments for the, I believe it was the Champs and Reserves, and then um, saddle stands as well. The saddle stands come in all different colors. Once again, starting with raw wood, I can have fun with the finish. Um, there's some more traditional wood stains. This is called Zelkova. This is one that I had engraved my Model Horse Stable logo and name on. So with the engraving and the cutting, there's just all kinds of personalization that can be done. And I started by pulling the measurements from a plans I found for a real saddle stand and scaling them down to 1-9 scale. And that gave me this size here, which I now call the English size because um, my friend Jennifer uh, had... I went to visit her one time and I had some of them and she went to put a western, a traditional western saddle on this and the stirrups were on the ground, you know, laying on the ground and I, oops. Uh, so I made them a little bigger and so this is what I call the western size. So if you kind of put them together, you can see the size difference. The western scale is a little taller and a little longer. And I may uh, scale one up even larger because I know um, things like parade saddles and stuff probably still still won't fit on there. So it's a, it's an evolving thing. But those are just some of the wood products that we've done. Um, everything else is packed up right now because we just got done with the Christmas rush. And we had everything out. And we are having a series of open houses. People were coming by and shopping. And, and that was a lot of fun. And uh, I just, last week I think, packed it all up because... I decided to take a break and next week I'll be back up and running. But yeah, this is just kind of a quick overview of when I talk about the laser business. There's some of our, our wood items, but we just do all kinds of stuff. Um, another really cool thing it can do, which I don't have an example of right now, is photographs. We can engrave photographs and they look really, really cool. So yeah, there's uh, like a quick overview of the laser business. When I say laser business, this is the, some of the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Um, the model horse stuff is kind of a little side project off of it um, that I've been marketing under Horse Tender Studio. But uh, yeah, there it is. So Nickel Necks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you a little more information about the laser. Uh, if you have any more questions about it, feel free to let me know. And for anyone else, I hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, feel free to give me suggestions for future videos. I'm always looking for ideas. I want to do a lot more videos this year. So just let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, be sure and hit like if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new here. And hit the bell icon for notifications of new videos. I hope you're all doing great. Having a good holiday season. Happy New Year. Love you guys.
Bye.